Golovkin. If that fight doesn't happen between them, is that a fight that you want eventually with Charlo? Absolutely, absolutely. I've, I mean, listen, I've, I fought Golovkin with 19, 19 and one with 20 fights. You know what I mean? These guys, you know, even, even Charlo, now you, you see Charlo calling uh, Triple G out now, and I'm like, four years ago, nobody was trying to call this guy out. Three years ago, two years ago, nobody, like he was the boogeyman. And now that everybody think he's lost a step or he's, now everybody want to call his name. You know what I mean? I fought this guy when he was, when everybody was stupid scared of him. You know what I mean? So, I mean, if the fight doesn't happen and, and that's a fight that Al can make happen, it's not a fight I would turn down. You know, I, but honestly, I have my eyes set on, from what I heard, I heard a little propaganda, you know, names flying around that I could possibly fight uh, Sergei Devrachenko. And I think that would be a, um, a, 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 a smart fight for me to take because if the IBF, you know, doesn't allow Triple G to keep his belt, then it'll become become vacant. And if and Sergey Devachenko is the number one contender, so if I fight him, beat him, I don't have to worry about fighting Charlo for WBC silver, and try to get back in line for Golovkin. I'll have an IBF, you know what I mean? And then that'll attract the rest of the belts, you know. So, I mean, it's not a fight that I would turn down. None of these fights are the ones that I would turn down. But if I could get, it, you know, if I had to choose. Right out of the gate, who I would fight, I would rather the Devachenko fight because it looks to have more value at this moment, you know. But um, it all depends on what happens. You know, I'm willing to fight anybody.